Hello everyone, I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone and may God blessings be upon you this year because this year is a very exciting year. I wanted to give you what I've been feeling which is great news. This year is about choice. Which will you choose? Would you choose life? Freedom? True, authentic expression of who you are. This is the year you get to choose to dance by your own beat of your own drum. Sway to the music of your own melody and be fully supported by the one eternal source. There are lots of speculations people have about religions, beliefs, institutions. We're moving into a new age. The days of institutions are crumbling right before our very eyes. But that's no reason to be afraid. It's something to be excited about. That means that the heavens are finally coming to earth. But each one of us get to be our truly authentic spiritual self to discover the divine beings that we truly are. And that is very exciting. There are no ways to worship the divine source, any right way or wrong way. Because the fact of the matter is, divine source is all things. It is all things. And it loves you. And it loves everyone. The message I got this year, coming into the turn of a new year, is appreciate and be thankful for the gifts, but love and honor the giver. And that's divine source. Whatever you call it, it doesn't matter, because divine source is beyond anything a human being can come up with. Don't put the divinity in a box. It is free, so you be free too. Whether you're bowing on your knees before an altar and praying and giving thanks for the divine source, God, who has given you life, or whether you're taking a walk in the woods, it doesn't matter. Because whatever you go and whatever you do, divine source is there with you. And that's another thing I want to tell you. There's a lot of divisions going on. As the Bible say, the wheat is being separated from the tares. But that's the wheat and the tares within ourselves. This is the year to say I am. Not in an egotistical way, but in a spiritual way. This is the year to nourish ourselves. Not just our physical bodies, not just our intellect, but our spirits. And how do we do that? We do that by exercising and practicing the virtues of spirit. Compassion, kindness, fortitude, strength. These are the power of the divine. These are the virtues of love to be kind to yourself, to be forgiving of others. We're all on this journey together. Every living being in the whole of creation is on this journey. Some of us on different levels from others, that is true. But let me tell you something. We all came from the same place and we will all end up in the same place, if not at the same time. So no one is better than somebody else because they may have developed characteristics or skills or spiritual virtues stronger than somebody else. If you are in a position where you have developed something about yourself, that doesn't put you above somebody else who haven't. What that does is give you an opportunity to teach someone, to help them come along. We're moving into a new age where things are not about pedestals. 
There is only one that belongs on the pedestal, and that is the one that gives us life and existence. We're all our, its children, expressions of the one source. It's about connecting with that source, remembering who we are, and remembering that source. And there are so many beings here on earth, as well as the heavens around us, that we can call upon. You've got angels, we have guides, we have relatives that have moved on. We have nature spirits. Creation is full of life, full of loving beings, all here waiting to help any one of us. So remember that. No matter what you're going through, you are never alone. Never ever alone. All it takes is a thought, a whisper for help, for assistance, on anything that you want. And it will be there for you. So remember that. Whatever comes our way the following year, know that this, it is simply a falling away of that which does not serve anymore to make way for that which will stand for millenniums to come. This is a time of new growth, new beginning, new you. When you start to nurture your spirit, you will discover things about yourself that you could not possibly imagine. You begin to discover how wonderful you truly are. Think about that. Contemplate on it. Divine Source gave you life. It gives you existence. How magnificent is that? You will discover things about yourself and abilities that you have that you couldn't contemplate in a million years. This is about awakening. This is about expanding. This is about growth. It's a very exciting time. And that which does no longer serve, we let it go. It's time to let that world go. It's a cleaning of the fields. The pain and the disruption we feel now is a cleaning of the fields. The power structures, the power structures, the elite, which is ludicrous. There is no elitiousness in creation. We're all equal in the eyes of the divine source. They may struggle, they may fight to hold on. Let them. Let them think what they want to think. Let them feel what they want to feel. We pray divine blessings upon them because they too is an expression of the divine source. They are lost, but the light that will shine in you and in me will radiate so bright that it would chase all the shadows away. It would chase all the darkness away because there is no greater power than love and light. Once the light is shine, shining in a room, it's no longer dark. Think about that. All of the problems that we're having in this world, it's not that darkness is a problem or poverty is a problem, no. Those things are just symptoms to tell us that something is lacking. Lacking. If you had an empty glass and you filled it up with water, it's no longer empty. So, was the emptiness something real? No. It was an indication that there was a lack of something. If someone is full of hate, and then they're full of love. Where did the hate go? The hate 
is an indication of a lack of love. Can a person be in poverty and be wealthy at the same time? No. The poverty is a lack of wealth. We have to change our way of thinking. We have to get ourselves in line with the truth of reality. We've been spending time trying to get rid of something that doesn't exist in order for us to get something that does exist. That's an ass way of doing things. If you are hungry, I wouldn't tell you, get rid of your hunger and then eat. I would feed you. And then once you are fed, you are no longer hungry. So it's all, my message is, it's all about nurturing. To understand what nurturing is really all about. It is filling ourselves up with that which is real, that which is eternal. And when you fill yourself up with that which is real and internal, there is no more lack and you are no longer suffering and you are no longer in pain. You no longer feel that no one loves you. Because the fact of the matter is, we live in an abundant creation, creational universe. We live in an abundant planet. We live in an abundant world. There is more than enough for everyone. Once we understand that once we are filled up, there is no lack. Once we understand that in our minds and in our hearts, then everyone will have, everyone will be beaming with well-being. Coming into this new age is a shifting of the way that we think. We have to turn our attention to that which is real, that which is true. And the truth is, is that you are an eternal being. No matter what happens in your life, it doesn't matter. Because everything in this world will fade away. But you, you will last forever. Because you are a spirit occupying a human form. You're not a human form pretending to be spiritual sometimes. We're all spirits. We're all energy. That's what we are. And we have a grand opportunity to nurture that spirit by experiencing a material, physical life. But nurture that which is true. Nurture that which is eternal about you. And that is your spirit. Because that spirit is the divine source. To nurture your relationship with the divine. Any way in which your intuition leads you to do it. We're all unique. We're all unique. Everybody has different practices. There is no right and wrong to have a relationship with the divine. There is no right or wrong way to do it. You find your way to do it. And I encourage you to do it. Because when you do, you will discover how magnificent you truly are. And the power and the strength to face anything will be absolutely miraculous. You will exceed your greatest imaginings of how powerful you are. So anyway, that's my uh, chat for today. I figured I would do something different by doing, showing myself. <laughs> anyway, listen, I love you. I am very excited about the, the year coming up. It's going to be tremendous. We're going to show the world and ourselves and the heavens that are watching upon us just how truly strong and magnificent and the ability to love each other we really do have right so 
If you like this, or well, first of all, I want to say this, I want to thank absolutely everyone who's watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate it because it lets me know that I have something to offer that is of service to everyone. And I'd like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you so very much. And I pray divine blessings upon you times a million and just the way that you need it in God's perfect way and his perfect time. Thank you so very much. If you like this video, leave a comment below and perhaps I'll do some more in the following year. Listen, happy new year. It is a new beginning for us all. Take care until next time.